Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Watch Autumn Keto, as well as ding that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I go live or post a new video. Today, I am so excited because we are talking all things data, right? All things measuring, all things numbers, all things like knowing exactly where you are in your journey by the numbers. And one of my favorite ways to do that is by measuring my blood glucose and ketones. And my favorite way to do that is with the Fora 6 Connect blood glucose and ketone reader. Now look guys, there are lots of different blood glucose and ketone meters on the market. This is the Fora Connect 6. It is my favorite. And you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on not only the reader, but like the entire kit. So full transparency, I use this thing a lot and I don't have the booklet and all that stuff. Like this is not an unboxing. <laughs> this is basically just me telling you about all these things and then testing my blood glucose and ketones like with you so that we can see how this thing works. So just like a typical blood glucose and ketone meter, you can like set the date, you can set different profiles and it comes with a lancet and some needles and then it comes with glucose test strips and then it comes with ketone test strips depending on the package you get right but the thing i love most about the fora six test strips is that they're in their own individual packets like i absolutely love how they're individually wrapped now the blood glucose ones are all in like the same jar but the ketone strips are all individually packaged honestly i don't know why like why it, maybe it has something to do with keeping them fresher like maybe in order to test your ketones like it needs to be vacuum sealed longer regardless i just think it's really neat that they come individually packaged and i love the size of this like some of the other ketone meters are really large I love just the size of this little package. I keep it upstairs in the bathroom. Comes with a little case, right? I keep it upstairs in the bathroom closet and in the morning. Generally, I test first thing in the morning. It is not first thing in the morning, so I'm honestly very interested to see what my numbers are. I've been fasted for about two and a half, three hours. So I just had bunless burgers. So let's see what happens, you know, two and a half hours after bunless burgers, completely keto. But I wanted to test and just show you how easy it is to test your glucose and ketones with the Fora 6 Connect. Okay, so the first thing I do, I test with my middle finger. Comment down below, what finger do you prick? I always prick my middle finger and I always prick the side. They say never like prick the the pad of your fingertip, you know, go somewhere along the side. That's where the numbers will be more accurate. And speaking of more accurate, I think testing your blood ketones is one of the most accurate ways to uh, test whether or not you're in ketosis or your level of ketosis. The urine strips only test for like one type of ketone. And we all know that after a while, when your body becomes used to utilizing ketones for energy, you're no longer going to excrete them in your urine. Guess what? all of those ketones on your urine strips that's wasted that's ketones going out of your body you don't want them going out of your body you want them to be used for energy right so after a while after you've been keto for a long time those strips aren't even going to show as much color as they used to because your body is utilizing the ketones efficiently and not as many are going to be wasted in your urine right so the strips aren't really accurate after a while and then the breathalyzer i'm still not convinced that also measures a certain type of ketone as well i think the ketone monitors like the blood monitors are just that's my favorite way to do it all right so let's go so i've massaged my finger Okay, and then I'm going to take one of the blood glucose strips. I do glucose first and then ketones. And it clearly says on there, BG, can you see it? Blood glucose. All right, so I'm gonna take my, oh, most importantly, I got my alcohol wipes. You wanna clean the area, right? Make sure there's no debris or anything on your finger that would like mess with the reading. Give it a little wave. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hey. I take my little plunger lancet and just you pull it back and it clicks right that means it spring loads the needle so that it will jab into your finger right it sounds a lot more like painful and treacherous than it actually is but look see look not even not even gonna flinch one two ah no nothing happened 
I don't even know if you heard it. Okay, so what you do is you squeeze a little knob bead. It's a bead of blood. Then you wipe that off immediately, and then you squeeze some more. Warning, if you're squeamish, close your eyes now. Look, there's the little... The little there you go look that's not so painful at all okay so now what you do i'm back for everyone that had to close your eyes what you do is you put your stick in the reader and then you just touch the reader to your hand all right it's counting down counting down booyah 91 that's not bad my fasting glucose is in the mid 70s but you know what? We are not fasted and it's under 100 and so I will take that all day and night. So that's my blood glucose and now you can discard the little strip and it cuts off automatically when you do that. And then I have a really good, I guess, clotting I would say so because I can't use the same bead of finger prick blood twice. Like I have to prick it again. By the time I look at my blood glucose numbers, my little finger prick is closed up already. Okay, so now I got one of my blood ketone, all right, individual little packets, and I'm going to open this. Now, the strip looks exactly the same. Don't get me wrong. Like, it, it looks just like a, the blood glucose measuring strip. It's just in its own little package, like right there. Booyah. I love it. And once again, it clearly says KB, which I'm assuming stands for ketone bodies, right? So we're gonna just do the same thing. I've already prepped my finger. I pulled back the lancet and I'm just going to give it a little boop. Nothing, I mean, just nothing at all. Okay, and then you wipe off the first bit and then you create a second bead by just pushing you know, everything toward, imagine you're trying to like pop a zit. We've all done that before. It's like press, puts a little pressure there. And then, okay, for all my squeamish folks, turn away and see, there you go. It's super easy. Look at that. It's just harmless. It's harmless. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put our strip in the machine to turn it on, right? And then it'll always tell you the batch number and it'll tell you, see how it says ketone? at the top there and 136 that's the batch number so it'll always it'll read the strip to tell you which one you're using and then this is going to take you know seven six five four three two one pew, pew, pew. Ooh, point eight who's in ketosis i'm in ketosis okay i will take that all day and night right I'm here, it's a party, it's a celebration. It is officially going down. And look at that, look, I just applied, you know, a little pressure to my little finger stick, and before you know it, you're done. When you take out the strip, it automatically turns off. Look at that. And boom, in like less than five minutes, I have measured my glucose, I've measured my ketones, I know exactly where I am in my blood sugar and ketone journey, like, Am I excited I'm in ketosis? Why, yes. Yes, I am, right? And you know, look, anything over 0.5 is ketosis, right? Don't be one of those number chasers that like tries to see, you know, one and a half or two. Like, no, be happy with anything over 0.5. You see, I had a 0.8 and it's a party over here, right? And if it's not 0.5, so the best thing about this is, it, it'll show you like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Like it'll show you if it registers any and not 0.5. Or if you're like me, sometimes if you've just, you know, gone off the wagon and had a really sugary uh, day or two, you can uh, test your ketones and it'll just say, I don't know what it says, like none. Like it just says like zero. It says like, like no, you tried it, right? And so that's really good to just see like, oh wow, okay, there's not enough ketones in my blood in order for it to measurably show up on here. So that means I need to get my act together. You know what I'm saying? So I love doing this. I maybe test my ketones maybe once a week just to see where I am, right? Especially if I'm coming off of a non-optimal eating period of time. So whether that's a meal or a day, because it always takes me three to four days 
to get into ketosis. These people like, oh, I can get into ketosis in 24 hours. Well, good for you, right? Like even if I fast, no matter what, it always takes me three or four days to get into ketosis. And you know what? That is okay because there's no rush. Once again, the deeper of ketosis you're in doesn't mean the more pounds you'll be losing, right? It's all about being consistent and eating like you got some sense and staying in ketosis. At least that's what it is for me, right? And so, about three or four days after I'm back on track, I like to test my blood glucose and ketones and see where I am. And when I see anything above 0.5, like that just lets me know that I'm, I'm headed in the right direction and that my body thanks me for eating this way, right? My body thanks me for giving it the proper fuel that it needs in order to burn fat. So overall, I just wanted to show you my favorite contraption. It's the 406 Connect. You can go to their website. The link is in the description. I have a coupon code. To be honest, I don't know what the percentage off is. Maybe I'll put it somewhere right here. Uh, and so there's a link and there's a code. I definitely recommend like when you first get one of these, get like a big kit, you know, get one that comes with the reader itself and then get like a bunch of these. Like this is a 50 pack and I got a 50 pack of these two, that's probably what I'd recommend, like a 50 and a 50, and they last you for a long time. Granted, as we all know, the blood glucose strips are a lot cheaper to replace than the ketone strips, but I mean, I think 50, like I said, 50, if you're testing once or twice a week, that'll last you half a year, and these things do expire, because once again, they are medical grade instruments that need freshness, like just like vitamins, right? Just in order to work properly, they need to be of a certain age, right? So you can buy 50, and it'll last you until either you need to get more or they expire, right? So use them all up before then though. This is just my favorite thing. I wanted to show you guys how and when I test for ketones. I'm really excited about my results. I'm about two and a half hours fasted. Glucose at 91, ketones at 0.8. Now, of course, if I had my phone on me, right, I could do my glucose ketone index. Somebody drop that in the comments below. I know y'all here doing math, right? If my glucose is 91 and my ketones are 0.8, calculate the glucose ketone index and that gives you just one number i think it's between like zero and three and that lets you know the level of ketosis that you're in right basically the lower your blood sugar the higher your ketone level the deeper you are in ketosis and i'm like duh right but at a certain point i'm not worrying about the levels of ketosis that i'm in i'm just worried about being in ketosis hitting that 0.5, right? So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, click the link below to get your ketone meter and use the code for a discount. So how do you measure your ketones, right? Do you have another ketone meter? Do you use a breathalyzer? Do you use the urine strips, right? There's so many different ways. Or do you measure it all? Are you just like, hey, I just eliminate carbs and I don't track any of those numbers, right? That doesn't matter. As long as I'm cutting the carbs and sugar out of my life, I'm doing good. To which I would say, you're right, right? You don't have to do this at all. But for a person like myself that loves the numbers and loves the data, I really do appreciate this tool. But let me know in the comments down below, how do you check your ketones? How do you check your blood glucose? Do you, do you think it matters? I cannot wait to hear. All right, thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Bye.